Okay, here we are in a steppa. Two, two and a half bed. I'll show you the half bed in a sec. I think it makes a little bit more sense. Possibly have a, an ensuite there, walk-in dressing room. But, you know, very bright, as you can see. Very good condition. Plenty of space. Very well priced as well. So we're sort of in the sitting room lounge. Then you've got another room here, which typically would be used as the sort of uh, dining area. Uh, but just again, another room uh, really to do what, do with what you want. Kitchen's a little compact, as you can see. Pretty basic. This is, I think, you know, more of a, a good lock up and go, uh, you know, to explore the area. We're really in the amazingly historical part uh, of a, se a step up near the top. Now, this wall here, you know, not being a support, you could very easily open this up. You know, kitchens in, in old Andalusian townhouses like this are pretty basic because essentially, you know, everything is either deep fried or you know, just salads and cold food and so forth. So as you can see, you know, there's a, there's an oven here. Uh, but again, it's, it's all pretty basic. You get a little piece of uh, marble there, double sink. And you can see the electrics need to be redone as well. Obviously quite ancient, uh, like the house. But again, very, very good condition. There have been some reforms done to it. The roof is completely new. A lot of the ceilings that were put in after the roof was are completely new as well. There's some good outside space here, kind of broken down into little bits and pieces, but you've got water connection here. Now, this is the bathroom and the only bathroom for the place, which is outside, somewhat typical. But I'll show you upstairs that in the, <clears throat> the other half uh, of a bedroom, uh, you've got plenty of scope there and we're about underneath it right now. So drawing water and setting up a bathroom there uh, wouldn't be such a big deal. You know, small size, but functions and so forth. Right, that's sort of the first little bit. You've got a wash area set up here, <clears throat> excuse me, with the sink. Space there for your washing machine. And then you've got another bit of space here. I'll give you a reverse angle on this. Looking back toward the house. All in very good shape throughout. Use a little bit of TLC, a little cheering up, some paint. But otherwise, I mean, it's just a, a great little property. And then you've got here just a sweet little terrace, patio, not overlooked. Proper drainage. Floors are cement, but very easy to tile those over. Watch my head here so I don't get garroted on the laundry line. Not overlooked, very easy to set up some, some shade with an awning. And then looking back to the house. Okay, let's go take a look upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Got a nice marble staircase here, very attractive. Now you've got a, a decent landing here, separating the, the bedrooms. This is bedroom one. Good size. A double. Uh, 
on the street here. Relatively quiet streets, it's just this time of the day we're sort of nearing about two o'clock now, Spanish lunchtime. And more or less where those pines are there is the top of Estepa. So really just going up a, a street, you're right up at the top. Uh, the views are, are quite exceptional uh, over the countryside. Good wide street here. Okay, let's go take a look at the second bedroom now. Passing through the landing. A lot bigger. And you see that room there, <coughs> excuse me, which you know would in fact be classed as a third bedroom. It's a pass-through, which of course you know is great if you've got a little baby, uh, you know, to have close. But certainly, you know, it's not so practical for guests or whatever else. So you know, that's why I'm thinking that this room here. Could very easily be set up. The back bit is a ensuite, um, uh, as well as uh, a dressing room. Plenty of space, but officially it is the third bedroom. Try and give you a, a reverse angle on this to give you a little bit more depth to see. It's small, but you know it's not bad. Can be used as storage as well. If you just on the hunt for a two bed. This place could be perfect. And then back into the bedroom. Very typical marble floors, multicolor design. Easy enough to change. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hazy today, but you can see off in the distance there, we've just got row after row of olive and we're more or less in the direction of Puente Canil in the province of Cordoba. And then you can see just sort of at the end there is where the cute little patio is, not really overlooked. And the passageway to the laundry area, washroom and so forth. Right, so that ends our tour. Just to recap, we're here at the top of historical Estepa. Two, three bed. Good amount of space inside, good amount of space outside. Very peaceful, quiet area. And value priced at just 76,000 euros. Thanks for watching. Lots more loaded all the time. Happy hunting.